Hey, welcome back to the Fit Survive channel. So what I have here is the Victorinox SOS kit. And so we're gonna go through this. I'll show you what they have included in their SOS kit. And as you can see, I'm going to turn it into kind of a small little EDC kit, something maybe a bit more modern. So go through here and take everything out. I'll kind of show you what it comes with. So first of all, it has a Swiss champ in the middle. And uh, my kit is a pre-1991. I know that by, first of all, by the condition of the contents, but also you can tell by the actual Swiss champ. Uh, one of the major ways to tell, easy ways to tell, it's gonna be the Tang stamp here. You see it has the, uh, basically it's the crossbow on there. Shows it's, an, uh, it's one of the older Swiss champs. Also the gray uh, magnifying glass housing. And also the fact that it does not have um, the back tool um, on the, the scissor layer. So there's a couple things that indicate this is being uh, an older Swiss Army champ. I'm sorry, yeah, Swiss Army, uh, Swiss champ. Also you can see that it has the older corkscrew. If you uh, look close, you can see that basically it's got like grooves in it. So just a couple things that kind of showed off uh, to be an older Swiss champ. All right, I'll go ahead and I'll take, now down below the Swiss champ, they store a small bit of rope. So you should, it looks like just like nylon rope. All right, then up top, they have this little pack here. And so up top, you can see is a, um, basically a signal mirror. So it's not really a mirror, it's more just like a reflective surface there. Got the hole in the middle for basically looking and seeing where you are reflecting to. Then it has some super old band-aids. Again, like I said, this is like a 30-year-old kit. So this is all yellow. You see it's aged. Some really old band-aids there. And it has a little survival card. Basically, you can put your name, address, phone number. It's got a couple um, knots here. In the back it has just some information uh, for alarm, uh, for signaling people. Of course, has the Morse code, uh, numbers, letter, SOS being, of course, the most commonly used. Then it has a piece of paper. And the last thing in this section is a small little sewing kit. Black and white string, you got two sewing needles. All right, so for uh, this middle section, that is everything. You have just the Swiss champ and then those items. I find this easy to access when this is open. I think you have a sharpening uh, stone here, which again, not really something that I would choose to you know, carry every day. All right, then another thing here that I found, found to be really interesting, uh, it's a mechanical pencil. And so you just push on this and the, the lead comes out. So actually I really like that and I'll be keeping it in the kit. All right, then also, last thing on this side, is gonna be a really large Safety pin. And I'll be keeping one of the safety pins too. Then on this side, you gotta open up both to access it easily. You have a basic uh, transparent ruler, you have this little compass. Turn it like that, make sure we can fit everything in here. And then the very last thing in the kit is going to be a second safety pin. All right, and the one thing that I am missing in this kit, on their SOS kit, is also a small little carton of uh, matches. So other than that, this is everything that comes in the SOS kit. And interestingly enough, I thought that this was a discontinued uh, kit, but I did some research before I started this video, and you can find this still on Amazon. And so if you like this kit as is, with the way that uh, Victorinox set it up, you can still find them like that, at least for the time being. I don't know how long it's gonna be in stock. All right, so I'll, I'll include the links to that in the description of the video, so if you wanna check that out. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'll go ahead and show you first of all what I have here, kind of go through it, show it to you, and then we'll fit it into here and I'll show you how it looks once we fit it. All right, so naturally, if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you know I do custom Swiss Army knives. So what I have here, we're gonna be replacing the Swiss champ with this Dragonox Cybertool L. And so I'll go ahead and I'll show you the tools. Uh, I think it's a really cool tool set here. But first of all, this has my Carta scales. Now these are from, um, I'm gonna murder the name, but I think it's like Tashin Messer, uh, something like that. I'll include a link <laughs> to his Etsy uh, shop, but he makes a really nice micarta scales, as you can see here. He's got them nice and polished, and personally, I think they look really great. They're plus scales, uh, but they do not have the needle slots, the one thing that's missing on them. All right, also you can see this has some space gray G10 liners, and I think it looks really great uh, with the stainless tools and the, the black micarta. I think it creates a really nice look to it. So the first layer, you have a small blade, and then the original blade you can see has been modified. 
Um, I turned this basically into kind of like a worn cliff shape with a half serration here down below. And this is all nice and sharp. So a small little modification to that original uh, blade. Then you have the metal file, which also works really great as a nail file. The bottom here you have the uh, metal saw. All right, then the wood saw. After that you have the bit driver, the bit holder. Again, a really handy tool with these um, replacement bits. You can pop them out and gives you a lot of different uh, basically uses with it, like that. But then the pliers. In this particular model, uh, the guy I ordered it requested uh, to be built without scissors. So you can see it has the dragonfly blade. And I placed the dragonfly blade here uh, because I wanted it to be as far as away uh, from the original blade. That way it's not too difficult to access it. If I had scooted it closer to this side, uh, then it'd be a bit more difficult to reach that Nelnik. But as it is, you can reach over all these tools and still snag it with your right thumb and access that with one hand, or of course with your left hand if you wanted to do it left-handed. All right, and then the last set, uh, last tool layer here is the bottle opener, can opener. Right on the back we have is the mini tool, small flathead screwdriver. And then behind that we have, um, this is the Helix Tender from Tortoise Gear. And I've already done a review of this. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure to go back and watch that. Basically what this is, is some tender. It's nice and compact. Uh, what you would do is you would pull it apart, fluff it up. And that is for starting a fire. Um, it's got some wax on it to make sure that it stays nice and uh, dry. And the wax also helps it burn better. And then right here, also from Tortoise Gear, is the ferro rod. This is what they call the firefly. This replaces the original toothpick. And this tip does glow in the dark also. And so basically you can use this uh, to start a fire. You got tender here. And so this is actually gonna be our source of fire in our little uh, EDC kit. So it's not gonna be uh, any lighters or matches. All right, we also have the pen, which again is gonna be our only writing instrument. Um, other than we're gonna go ahead and keep the, tap on the, um, the pencil there. All right, and then behind that you have the chisel, which can be a bit difficult to open without fingernails behind this uh, corkscrew. All right, the small flathead screwdriver. And lastly is the awl. And what we're going to be doing is we'll be attaching this uh, lanyard. It's from Exotac. This also uh, contains a bunch of tinder on the inside. So what you would do if you needed to start a fire, you needed something uh, dry that's going to easily light, you pull it open. What you do is you cut this off, and in the middle of this uh, rope, uh, you'll find basically some cord in there that works as a tinder. And so just kind of create some um, multi-use multi out of it. So it's a lanyard, and at the same time, you got some extra tinder. They do make this in black also, which black really would have matched the whole kit a lot better, but orange is the only color I had. And so, yeah, we'll be stuck with orange, I guess, for this demonstration at least. So basically you can go through there. And this actually has a good purpose. I'll get to that here when we start loading it into the actual kit. All right, of course, I'm replacing the original paper with some right in the rain paper. Again, for natural reasons, this being waterproof and all of that. Also we'll be replacing the uh, really old Band-Aids with some new band-aids from Curad. Um, I really like these band-aids. This is their, I think it's like Pro Performance or something like that. Uh, I'll have links to all this stuff uh, if you guys wanna check it out. These are some of my favorite band-aids uh, simply because the fabric on them and they're super sticky. And so when I need some band-aids, those are really great. We'll also be replacing uh, this rope with some Kevlar string. This is really thin, really strong. You can get a bunch of it. it doesn't take hardly any space. Also be adding a, a light, which of course in any EDC kit needs a flashlight. So this is the O-Light. And I chose this light because it's compact. It uses just one AAA battery. Um, this is one that came with it. Of course, you can put in some rechargeable ones as well. Another thing I like about it is that it does not have any button or anything like that that can actually get, accidentally be pressed. So don't worry about this. Uh, draining the battery. Basically, to turn it on, you just tighten it all the way on and you get 90 lumens there. Um, it's the only setting and so it's really dummy proof. You just turn it on or off and that's it. And so we'll be using that, like I said, I went for that because it's super compact. We have some painkillers, again, some basics for an EDC kit. This is one of the things that I try to add into all my kits that I make. And this is uh, some camping soap. So you can see that's just one little thin layer. What you do is you just get your hands wet and rub this in. It's just basically standard soap. And so it's something that's come in handy several times and again, takes up no space. And so I like adding these to uh, any of my EDC kits. All right, then we have Paper clip, again, probably 101 uses for that. A little compressed tallet. I've also probably showed this, you know, almost in every kit that I demonstrate on YouTube. 
you get a little bit of water on this and you get a, a wet wipe or you can pull it apart while it's dry to get a dry wipe. And again, uh, a whole bunch of <laughs> uses for that. All right, then we'll be adding the zip tie. And we have some, basically what this is is a small little cartridge that I have for one of my small pins. And what I've done is I've wrapped some Gorilla Tape on this side. Again, there's so many uses for uh, duct tape, Gorilla Tape, and so on. And also some electrical tape uh, over here. And so we've got the two tapes right there. They'll come in handy. All right, and then these, this is a lock pick uh, kind of set here from Sparrows. That's what they call their mace. Um, yeah, the mace picks. Basically what it is, it doubles as both a tensioner and you got the pick, which you have the single pick and you got the rake right there. And so this set right here is one of my favorite to carry just because it's so compact. Uh, you got your tensioner, you got the picks. And it does pretty good on, um, on a lot of different locks. Between the two of them at least. All right, and then the last thing we'll be adding is from Cold Forged. This is their fork. Again, one of the tools I really like carrying in an EDC kit. Uh, just because it gets you a small little eating utensil. It has actually come in handy more often than I... I really can say. And it actually comes in this credit card size kind of like holder here where this fits in here like this. On this side you have the knife, which basically is a butter knife, uh, not really sharp, but it does have some teeth on it. So if you wanted to cut through something, you probably could. Um, but since this takes up a lot more space than what we have, uh, generally I end up carrying just the fork side of it, uh, but still really cool little um, EDC tool there, and so I like adding that. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll start fitting this um, into the SOS kit. What should I say now it's just the, uh, just the pouch. All right, so like I said, I really like the pencil, the mechanical pencil, really cool, plus the slot for it is super thin, and I really didn't find anything better to fit into this slot, and so we'll be keeping this as it is right there, and the flashlight uh, fits perfectly right into this uh, little slot which is why I chose that O-Lite. I mean, it looks like it was meant for it. All right, then up here, we're going to be adding the fork. So slide that in just like that. Close this down. Same thing on this side. So over here, we'll be fitting, we'll put the, the tape and the pin in between this. Or rubber band on it, just make sure that the zip tie doesn't uh, <laughs> come all over the place. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Kind of just springs open. All right, and we'll fit our lock pick set right in here. And we'll be stealing one of these uh, safety uh, pins. I really like them, they're nice and tough, large. So we fit that in here, along with our paper clip. Again, somebody should write a book about everything that can be done with those paper, paper clips. Maybe somebody has. All right, and then I found the easiest way to fit everything was just to stack it up first, just like this and then slide them all in together. Got this really compact little pocket up top. And that fits in just like that. All right, and then the compressed tallet will go down below. That will actually uh, make sure that so some knife doesn't go too deep. And same thing with the Kevlar string, it goes right down there. Make sure it's not um, in the white. And then we'll slide this in up top like that. And that's actually why we need the lanyard is because with everything in here, it's nice and tight and kind of difficult to get it with just your fingers. And so having the lanyard makes that super easy to just pull right out and access. And then this fits right here and it closes down. All right. So that's everything uh, in the kit. <clears throat> so let me know what you think about that. I always think about the, the items that I've chosen to add to this kit. Um, if you would add something different, let me know what you would add. Um, if you prefer just the way that uh, Victorinox had it, with just a little SOS kit here. Anyways, let me know what you think about that, or the way I set it up, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.